I never liked cheerleaders anyway. They were always so snooty. And you, Lizzie McGuire, are no snoot. Dad, really, it's, it's no big. No big at all. I merely cemented my social status to that of a nobody for, oh, I don't know, eternity? Lizzie, if it makes you feel any better, I was never a cheerleader, and my life turned out just fine. That's relative. Look what you have for a son. Here, ugly little Lizzie. Here, girl. What'd you call that thing? Ugly? You called it Lizzie. Well, there's no denying the resemblance. Hey. Children. Oh, Dad, here's her instructions. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Lighting, humidity, constipation. I'm Audi. Book report due tomorrow. I haven't even finished the book. Ah, uh, Lizzie. Are you sure you're okay? Mom, it's it's fine, really. I'm not the cheerleader type. I'm I'm more of a band geek. Lizzie McGuire, you are not a geek. You are beautiful. You have great friends. Gordo and Miranda are wonderful kids. You're you're smart. You're decent. You're compassionate. Here we go. Pep talk number you're 243 from the mother-daughter handbook. About it's not that what she's saying is so bad. It's just that I've heard it 17 times already today, which makes the whole thing even more pathetic than usual. And you're, you're helpful around the house. You forgot kind to strangers. Yeah, she's that too. And don't forget, she's housebroken. I'm telling you now to avoid major devastation tomorrow. Okay, my cheerleader. Well, you know why she made it, don't you? <laughs> because Kate <laughs> stuffs her bra. Man, locked up again. Huh? Uh-oh. 